months while we were away. The Grand General, Master Cao Shuang. Frankly, I can't see what we have to gain from attacking Shu right now. I think Master Cao Shuang simply desires to have a military achievement under his belt. Unlike Father, who has been appointed regent alongside him, he has little battlefield experience. A military achievement? Why does it have to be military? Once the war is ended, battlefield feats won't mean a thing anyway. Hm. I do not think that imbecile is capable of such foresight. I believe the reason he is pushing for this battle is to strip me of my authority. I am certain that he was manipulated by Master Cao Cao's adopted son, Master He Yang, and his followers. He used to be much more honest and straightforward. But Father, if we do attack the way he wants, we will end up meeting the Shu forces at Mount Xingxi. That is a very difficult place to manipulate troops. With the inexperienced Master Cao Shuang in charge, we have little chance of victory. Should we not try and find a way to avoid this? I agree with Brother. I don't want to follow that idiot halfway up a mountain when I could be relaxing here in Luoyang instead. I do not wish to participate in this pointless battle, but I cannot simply ignore Master Cao Shuang's orders. I want both of you to accompany me to Mount Xingxi. Master Sima Shi, I see. I have heard of your exploits in defeating Gong Su Yuan. Fine work. So, may I ask what business you have with me? As the Grand General of the Wei Army, I am a little busy, you see. If you will forgive me, my lord, I have one or two concerns regarding our formations for this battle which I would like to raise with you. Concerns? At the present moment, our forces are heavily weighted towards the front lines. If we sustain an attack from the rear, the front line units will be dangerously isolated. The area around Hanchong is replete with narrow alleyways and paths, and is made for surprise raids. I feel we should redistribute our forces towards the rear to guard against that. Hmm. You see my men are all alike. With your petty concerns and tricky rhetoric, forget about enemy raids. All we need do is defeat Shu before that happens. But now you're just being unrealistic. You can't afford to underestimate the enemy like that. Listen, this battle is led by the mighty Tao clan. We will use our superior numbers to crush the enemy and win with honor. That's the way we do things. I will lead a unit on the front lines myself and raise our flag when we claim Hanjong. You two can sit here and worry needlessly if you like. In other words, he has no particular plan and simply intends to throw his forces against the enemies. If that's all it took to defeat Shu, better men than him would have done it long ago. Indeed. I barely know what to say to such idiocy. But there is no need for us to behave as irresponsibly as him. Come, this may not be a battle we can win, but we can certainly do our best to keep casualties to a minimum. Shahu Ba's the name. Shu will be no match for me once I get into things. I think I'll begin by taking down Hong Chong.
We will launch a sneak attack on the way base. If we can claim it, we should be able to exert pressure on the enemy's main camp. <laughs> Forces? Here? My heart nearly stopped with the shock. Why? Are you alright? Not coughing too badly today? I'm here now, so you can relax. I found a rather perfect. The plan has failed. How could we fail to claim a single measly base? By the way, how could I explain this to Master Wang Ping? We have kept the enemy forces at bay. Then it is time for us to turn to the attack. Oh. The man shall vanquish the soul. That was too easy. <laughs> Father, it's nice to see you doing so well. Oh. What? Wave forces here? Prepare to engage the enemy at once! <laughs> 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 We won't be able to send any more reinforcements in now. Oh, that was too easy. <laughs> this place with me here. Observe the power of the shooter! Very well. They have broken through my defense line. How could I let this happen? <laughs> that was too easy. <laughs> you are perhaps the most magnificent warrior I've ever seen. Three. <laughs> Murkus, you foul oh, swarms! Murk, fall back! Fall back! I order everything! Damn it all! If I lose here, 
Move. Our plans will be categorically ruined. Beaten before I could execute the plan. This is a disgrace. Oh, forces of Shu. Are you so afraid of me? I will crush you beneath my foot. That was too easy. Oh, oh. <laughs> I will not let you reach Hanjong. I will die before I let you. The enemy is inside our camp. Master Wan Ping! I'm sorry. I do not think I can fight on. I wanted to prevent the enemy reaching Hanjong at all costs, but... That was too easy. <laughs> Father, it's nice to see you doing so well. Father, you are a true warrior of the Three Kingdoms. Wave forces are closing in. Stay calm and fight back. Lord Fei Yi has been forced to retreat. We can't expect any more reinforcements. Master Fei Yi, this is bad. They're going to catch up with us. I have discovered my own weakness. I must work harder to overcome it. The mind shall vanquish the soul. Watch yourselves, way dogs! We are not giving Hanjong over to you! The enemy has reached Hanjong, regardless of my efforts! Hanjong is ours! Onward! The soldiers may be tired, but we can't afford to pander to them! We've managed to make it as far as Hanjong. Do not let the soldiers rest, no matter how much they complain. As soon as our battle ranks are reformed, we will attack Chengdu. Grand General, I have to report that the stronghold up ahead is well defended by the forces of Shu. It will be almost impossible to take down. On top of that, our supply lines to the rear are stretched dangerously thin. If we sustain an enemy raid, we run the risk of losing our supply route from Xiong An and being isolated. Silence! How dare you speak to your Grand General like that! You just want me to withdraw my forces so that I won't be able to claim the glory that is rightfully mine! No, that's not it at all. Master Cao Shuang, I must agree with Master Sima Shao. Our soldiers and steeds are fatigued and injured. To fight on would be mere folly. Gah. Even you would say such things, Sha Ho Shuen? Huh, well, this was all a test. That's right, I was testing you. And it seems our men are a bunch of weaklings. There is no point in sending them any further. Order all forces to retreat. 
Everyone is to retreat to Luoyang at once. Thank you for the help, Master Shao Shuan. It seems you managed to convince him. I apologize for any inconvenience caused, Master Sima Chao. Master Cao Shuang is simply desperate to regain his clan's lost glory. I know. But this retreat is going to end up damaging his reputation still further. That cannot be helped. Were it not for yourself, your lord brother, and a handful of other capable officers, this battle could have had a much worse outcome. The Kingdom of Wei, Master Cao Pi and Master Cao Rui built, is now being threatened by their descendants in the Cao clan. Something must be done before Wu or Shu takes advantage. There are still those near the Cao clan, such as yourself and Xiao Ba, who are determined to use their talents for the benefit of the kingdom. As long as Master Cao Chuang refrains from more overt foolishness of this type, we should be fine. Come. We need to get back to Luo Yang. Father. Father, there is something I would like to talk to you about. Ever since his defeat at Mount Xingxi, the Grand General has wasted his time and money on wanton debauchery. The economic resources established by the previous Emperor are being drained rapidly, and we can barely maintain our defenses against Wu and Shu. It is dangerous to allow him to rule any longer. Dangerous? What are you saying, brother? You think we should remove Cao Shuang and seize power for ourselves? You realize that is a double-edged sword, do you not? It is true that Cao Shuang presents a threat to our nation from within. But there are still many who are loyal to the Cao family because of Cao Cao and Cao Pi. To depose Cao Shuang is likely to incur the wrath of those loyalists. At worst, it could lead to civil war. We need to be prepared if we take that path. Brother! I have always been prepared. Pouncing on the opportunity provided by what happened at Mount Xingxi, Shu has made its move. We will be at war within a few days. We must remove the disease eating away at the heart of our kingdom before then. My lord, I hear that the Grand General is away hunting at the moment. Perhaps now would be the most opportune moment? Hmm. This could be our best chance, with Cao Shuang and the others away from Luoyang. We must move quickly. Head for the palace at once.
Master Sima Shi is said to be leading troops towards the castle. My friends, do you suppose? Yes. Master Sima Shi is finally making his move. This is the moment we have all waited for for so long. Ever since his return from Mount Xingxi, Master Cao Shuang has done nothing but indulge his own baser instincts. His waste of our valuable taxes cannot be overlooked. Despite the fact that Shu is showing signs of preparing to attack us, our leader wastes our military budget on his own gratification. I've been so worried that Shu might attack at any moment that I can feel what remains of my life slipping away all the time. <coughs> Everyone, Master Sima Shi wants to see you. You all know why, I take it. Understood. We will go to him at once. Even if it drains the last of my life, I will do what I must to keep this- I owe everything I have to Master Sima Yi. In order to repay that debt I owe, I will carry out my mission. You have chosen wisely, gentlemen. We must head for the palace at once. This must be done before the general returns from his hunt. Thank you for coming, everyone. The Grand General, Master Cao Shuang, is currently away from Luoyang on a hunting trip. We intend to take this opportunity to strip him of his powers. Brother, I know Cao Shuang is unfit to lead, but don't you think there might be a subtler way of doing this? You need to show more commitment, Zhao. The decay at the heart of our kingdom cannot be removed by adopting half measures. This is a step that we must take if we truly wish to bring peace to the land. It is our destiny. I see. Good. We will seize Luo Young before Cao Shuang returns. We must quickly capture Luo Young. Then we will be able to slay Cao Shuang outside the castle walls. <laughs> sure. I have acquired information regarding the man who plans to assassinate the Emperor. His name is John Dong, and he has links with Xiao Xuan. If we capture him, perhaps he will confess Xiao Xuan's involvement in this crime. It certainly seems worth a try. I saw them a ways in... I 
think I've seen who ignored Cao Shuang for too long. Everyone knows the truth now. I guess it's all thanks to this big catch. <laughs> that was too easy. <laughs> They're targeting the armory. We won't give this place to anyone. <laughs> These insolent dogs! Alright. Defeat. What will happen to our weapons now? That was too easy. <laughs> Report! Lord Panju is defeated. Sima E has taken the weapon storehouse. What? But we're already running out of arrows! Now we've lost the armory! We cannot restart! Sima'i will be allowed to have his way no longer. I will go and stop him myself. You will not breach the palace. If you do not leave now, I will cut you down where you stand. We have to retreat. You've made a powerful fool today, Sima clan. I order everyone to march. This gate is for the use of Lord Sao Chuang. No rebels may pass through it. I can hold this place no longer. Lord Sao Shuang, my deepest apologies. <laughs> that was too easy. <laughs> Report! Master Ying Damu is defeated. Some of the gates have been closed up. Now I have to take a detour just to get into Luoyang? How dare you make me go to such trouble! Have faith, Lord Cao Shuang. I will defeat Sima Yi and his henchmen at once. I need everyone to defend this area. I order everyone to march. We're taking over that area. Move! 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 
The mind shall vanquish the soul. Curse you, you miserable traitors. How could I not have enough to overcome you? I have claimed control of the palace. Cease your futile resistance at once! Oh, that was too easy. <laughs> don't get too carried away, my dear. I don't want to see you get your... Report! We've lost multiple lords. The Luoyang Palace now belongs to Sima Yi. My castle! No! We cannot allow them to run rampant any longer! Take back the Wu Yang for Lord Sao Shuang. Here we go. Two. Yo. Four. Four. Two. Shall vanquish the soul. Once again, you prove to us all why you deserve your status. Such great strength. I'm pulling back for now. You perform great as always. There was no need for my strategy. Did you hear? Lord Xiao Xiong and Lord Zhang Dong tried to kill the Emperor. Things are starting to look bad for us. Should we ally with the Sima after all? How dare you, Sima Yi, to attack while I was gone? This is an act of cowardice as well as high treason against the Kingdom of Wei. It is time to make our move. There is a position we must take from the enemy. Hey, on the house of Sima, you wish to seize the glory that is rightfully ours. So you have yet to understand the true nature of our plans? Zhao Shuang, you fool! We are side. taking you to Shu Chong! Do you really think that you will get away with doing this? You're a minister of Zhao Wei, and you dare raise your hand to it me? It's because I am a minister of Zhao Wei. Mm -hmm. The great lord Zhao Zhao laid the very cornerstones to build Zhao Wei. The wise Zhao Pi built the foundation. I've served three generations. No. 
four generations. And I have done everything I can to ensure that it would always prosper. And I will not allow a fool like you to ruin everything that we've built and worked for! You must see the forgiveness of my lords Cao Cao and Cao Pi when you finally meet them in the afterlife. Traitors! You dare to usurp my throne! You sir, you sir. Perhaps there really is no other way than that. Lord Shahoba, terrible news! Lord Xiao Shuang and Lord He Yan have been found guilty of the crime of treason and have been executed by Lord Sima Yi! Wha what I mean, I know Master Xiao Shuang made his fair share of mistakes, but the death penalty? It seems incredibly harsh. Yet I suppose the fact that there's no great unrest in Luoyang in response shows just how far that Cao Clan's star has fallen. It looks like the Sima are the new leaders of Wei. That's not all. Lord Shaho Xuan has also been sentenced to death for siding with Lord Cao Shuang and conspiring to plot an overthrow of the government. Master Shaho Juan? But he didn't do anything. They're just trying to get rid of anyone with ties to the Cao clan. This is just outrageous! But it does seem like the kind of thing Master Sima Shi would do. Ah, uh, things are looking seriously grim now. Master Shahoba, I'd like to inform you that I've been assigned to assume complete command of the Shu campaign. <coughs> okay, I'm listening. It is unfortunate about Master Shuang. I hope, Master Ba, that we can work together somehow to gain merit and earn the trust of Master Sima Shi. <coughs> No, no, no! It's not going to be that simple! Juan suffered for Lord Cao Chuan's mistake. Someday it could be my turn! Um, after how many? It's no good. It's no good. It's just... Uh, I never thought that I would have to worry about my life outside of a battlefield. Uh, Come to think of it, didn't they say my cousin married Zheng Fei of Shu? <laughs> no, no, no! I can't ask them for any help. I mean, it was Shu that killed my father! <sighs> but still, I have nowhere else to go. Yeah, it's no good worrying about it. It couldn't be any worse. Let's head for Shu. Shao Ba has defected to Shu. Master Sima Shi had Cao Shuang's cousin, Shao Shuang, executed.
It appears he decided that his familial ties made him an unstable element. Jahoba must have seen that and decided that he could be next. Perhaps my brother has gone too far. Yes. Much as it pains me to say. <laughs> you are both too soft. Master Sima Shi made the only decision he could make. Certain groups within the kingdom view the Sima clan as usurpers for their role in the Sao Shuang incident. It is quite possible that they may initiate an uprising. It is far better to eliminate such a threat before it makes itself known. But doesn't that mean we are abusing our power? Doesn't that make us the same as Sao Shuang? No. Master Sima Shi has talent and vision that Sao Shuang never had. He holds the future of Wei in the palm of his hand. Which is precisely why there are those who fear and hate him. For now, that is true. But it is only a matter of time before they realize Master Sima Shi's true worth. You must not waver. You must support your brother unflinchingly. If you do not, you will lose him. I don't like the sound of that. I guess I need to pull myself together. If you know what you have to do, it's time to show it with your actions. We must speak with Master Shi about the future. By slaying Cao Shuang, the Sima clan has seized control over the Imperial Court. There will obviously be those who object to this. Why must there be so many who are ignorant of their own mediocrity? Just like those who are jealous of my talents. Master Zhang Hui, that's enough. You always make everything about you, don't you? Hmm. Then we must begin by shutting those objectives up. After that, we will get rid of Zhao Feng and install Master Zhao Mao in his stead. Shi, at the current moment, you are still merely a man who stole Cao Shuang's position and took his place. And now, you wish to replace the Emperor as well? To an outsider looking in, you are no different than Dong Zhuo. <laughs> you feel that Master Cao Mao will make for the ideal Emperor. Have you managed to convince everyone else of that goal? I can. If I were not confident of my ability, I would never have killed Cao Shuang in the first place. <laughs> in that case, there is nothing left to say. She, if you feel you can make this happen, then by all means, do so. My lord. Master Sima Yi, I understand that Wang Ling has instigated a rebellion. 
I will do anything that you ask, but I beg of you to please spare the life of my wife. Please. <coughs> Guo Huai, I have no reason to doubt your loyalty. I shall see that your wife is looked after. Oh, you are so merciful, my lord. If you will excuse me. Guo Huai looked even paler than usual today. His wife is Wang Ling's younger sister. It is only natural that he worry about her safety due to the crimes of her family. Even so. Zhao, this is not an issue to deal with emotionally. Whether Guo Huai's wife lives or dies is entirely up to him. Father, preparations to eliminate Wang Ling are complete. Zhao, tell Guo Huai to hurry to his post. Sure, I'll do that. This is no time to be squabbling amongst ourselves. We must slay the traitor, Wang Ling, with all haste! I understand Master Wang Lin's son, Wang Guang, is around here. He is not involved in the rebellion. If I can find him, maybe I can get him to talk to Master Wang Lin and convince him to stop this madness. I think I've seen who- I saw them a ways- Ha! Huh. I've been found! Are you here to kill me? Huh. Well, good luck with that! Huh. 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 The mind shall vanquish the soul. What? You aren't here to kill me. Persuade my father. Well, I'll try. <laughs> perfect. Just perfect. Time to put this position to use in realizing my strategy. <laughs>
really stay and follow Master Wong Yi? I don't know what decision to make. Wong Hua, what are you waiting for? You do not want to be on the wrong side of the Sima plan. I wasn't part of this rebellion! I wanted to fight for you, Master Sima Yi! Remarkable strength. It is simply Im to go up against the Sima clan. We converted them to our side, just as... They will serve as excellent pawns in our attack on Shushu. can't let the Wu army take this base. I have to remember what will be waiting for me if I fail. Our hands have been forced now that the enemy's reinforcements are here. Take down the castle while we still have time. Okay, it's time to bring out the siege weapons. Let's tear down these gates and bring an end to this battle. That was too easy. <laughs> you will never cease to amaze me, Father. Capturing the enemy's bases is the key to defeating them. Huh. That was too easy. <laughs> How can I be defeated before we take the castle? What a failure I am. We march on Shushun to kill the rebel Wang Ling. The Sima clan toys with our kingdom like it is their plaything. They must be slain! I will commit everything I have to that goal! Mr. Wong Ling's plan could never work. I will side with the Sima clan. Open the gates! What? We have been betrayed? This is a disaster! This is as far as my strength will take me. But there are more like me. I do not agree with your methods. The rebellion has been suppressed. But this victory is a hollow one. It feels like we're just gouging out our own flesh. Master Wanlin's family will be executed for this treachery. I only hope somehow my wife will be spared. Father, the rebellion has been suppressed. Are we to follow standard protocols in the punishment of the families of the rebels? Unless you have any objections. Mr. Simai! <sighs> Please, I beg you. I know, Guo Huai. Xi, I need to speak to you in regards to dealing with the chaos.
Master Sima E, thank you so much. Sima E brilliantly suppressed the rebellion led by Wan Ling. As a result, his power and influence rose immensely. It was thought that Sima E would soon make a play for control of Wei. Sima E could not help but be amused by such rumors. He had been discovered by Cao Cao and contributed to victory in numerous battles. He also served Cao Pi as he repelled countless threats from outside enemies. And following their deaths, he eliminated any imbeciles in Wei that might challenge him. In that sense, he was playing the role of the usurper. Sima Yi was keenly aware of both the lack of support felt by the people as well as the danger of a country without a successor. Father! What is it? Uh, 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 it's been a while since I saw you do that. Uh, we're sorry to stop you like that. Hmm. It seems you did not inherit this particular trick of mine. So what is it? With both of you here, I assume you aren't just talking about the weather. We're here to tell you that the Imperial family has been moved to Ye. Now those who seek to remove you will surely not find it so easy to get to them. <laughs> Father? No. I am just amazed at Lord Cao Cao's foresight. He was always a bit wary of this ability of mine. Lord Cao Cao, when I had secluded myself from the world, saw my talent and gave me a central role in Wei. He weighed the dangers of my ambition against my ability, and in the end chose my ability. At the time, so long ago, I could never really make sense of that. I mean, it had never even crossed my mind to betray him. I would never have thought of that. Father. And yet, Look at what we are doing right now. Who holds true power in the palace now? I see what you mean. If you put it like that, I understand. Lord Cao Cao left behind an able successor in Lord P. His only miscalculation was that Lord P died so young. Hm. Listen to me, you two. You must raise many worthy successors, so that after I'm gone, the world is not left to a bunch of fools. Yes. Yes, Father. 